Most importantly, we want to thank the great people of Iowa. Thank you. We love you all. What a turnout. What a crowd. From the nation's first round of voting in the 2024 election cycle to extreme winter weather, all eyes were on Iowa Monday as former President Donald Trump cruised to victory in the GOP caucuses. Blowing out his opponents with 51 percent of the vote, Trump's victory margin was not the only record on display as extreme weather rolled through Iowa, bringing sub-zero temperatures and blizzard conditions that made it dangerous for voters. And this year, many didn't risk it, with a record low 110,000 Iowans hitting the polls, the lowest GOP turnout since the year 2000. Despite the weather and his legal entanglements as he faces federal criminal charges for election interference, Trump dominated. His supporters largely not caring whether he is guilty. Reuters polling data showing 65 percent of GOP caucus goers say he would still be fit for president even if he is convicted of a crime, with 31 percent saying he would be unfit. And as far as Joe Biden's presidency, the poll found 66 percent believe he was illegitimately elected and that the election was stolen, a lie Trump perpetuated during his victory speech Monday night. I don't know if you know, but they did polls tonight on the election of 2020. Do you believe it was honest or not? 82 percent said 82 percent said it was not. And we can't have that, Chairman. We can't have that. You can't have a situation like that. Trump did not have much time to celebrate his landslide victory as he was due in court Tuesday as the defamation case brought against the former president by columnist E. Jean Carroll begins. As for the 2024 presidential election, all eyes now turn to New Hampshire for the first in the nation primary on January 23rd.